The Academy under fire after a song composer gets yanked from an Oscar nomination because of his faith-based movie. The movie called Alone Yet Not Alone, the song of the same name, receiving a standing ovation at an event in Hollywood last night. So did the Academy rule it out for religion, or is something else going on here? Joining us now is Dr. Ted Baer. He's the chairman of the Christian Film and Television Commission and director of Movie Guide, who had their awards gala Friday night. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, it's great to be with you, Heather. Thank so, you. Dr. Baer, what is the official reason that the movie or the song? The, uh, the official reason is that Bruce, who came to our award ceremony, the Movie God Awards, uh, said, uh, he sent out an email saying, look for my song. It's number 54, 55 on the list of songs on the, on the uh, CD you've gotten. And we get CDs and we get all this stuff. And uh, it, just look for my song. Now, you know, every publicist, every studio spends a lot of money sending out... Uh, you know, books and CDs. The day that this whole broke, uh, Frozen sent me a wonderful uh, DVD and a book and everything else. So you know, it's just the fact that uh, they did not want an independent film to break into the uh, uh, the high life of the Academy nomination. Yeah, Bruce Broughton being, of course, the song creator that you're referencing there, really undertook a grassroots effort to make people aware of the small film that only garnered, what, uh, $134,000 <laughs> in its first three weeks. So how else could well, you make people aware of it? Uh, you, know, you know, Heather, I mean, the, the, the first, uh, the release was a small release because the big release is in June. It's going to release in a lot of theaters. The Academy, the movie companies do this all the time. They release a movie for one day. I remember when The Godfather 3 was released for one day just so it could get the uh, award nomination. And his, his uh, attempt at promoting it was so small compared to the studios that it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, this is, this is not a case that he... Uh, he did a lot of promotion for this. This is just a case of bias, and some some pigs are better than other pigs on Animal Farm. Well, let's take a look at what the Academy has to say about it. They said this in response. As a former Academy governor and current member of the Music Branch's executive committee, Mr. Broughton should have been more cautious about acting in a way that made it appear as if he were taking advantage of his position to exert undue influence. At a minimum, his actions question whether the process was, quote, fair and equitable, as the Academy's rules require. So do you think that, you know, that really is the reason, or as you're saying, was this a case of faith-based bigotry? I don't think it was the reason at all that he sent it out, because if he had hired a publicist, if he had hired a PR person to send it out, it would have been okay. So the problem uh, is that they were just looking for straws. And a lot of people, friends of mine in the Academy, Jerry Molan and others, have protested this. Uh, uh, Dabney, who's one of the great songwriters, a lot of the people behind Michael Lloyd was at our event. He's won more Oscars than anybody else. Yeah, the person else. behind Schindler's List also. He said, in fact, you know, if you go by this standard, then you're going to have to uh, rescind Oscars that have already been given out. Well, especially to uh, any one of Harvey Weinstein's movies. And I just saw Harvey at dinner the other night, so we've got to tell him he's got to lose all those Oscars. You know, I want to talk about the song itself because it really is a remarkable uh, performance. And you said that you did have this last night. Um, the, the person who performs the song is a quadriplegic. Tell me that story. Well, she's one of my favorite people, Joni Erickson Tata. I've known her for many, many years. Uh, she had a diving accident when she was a young girl. They made a movie about her, and it was very successful in the early 80s. Uh, she had cancer a couple of years ago. She has so little lung capacity that her husband has to uh, help her breathe while she's singing the song. It is an absolutely beautiful song, absolutely yeah. lyrical. It's uh, just a terrific, and we had a standing ovation. Now, I was afraid to put it in the show, frankly. Everybody wanted me to put it in the show, and I said, this is going to kill the show. She can't move. She's a quadriplegic, but she was terrific. Yeah, her, her husband literally having to push on her diaphragm in order to get out enough air so she can sing the song. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, when is the movie re-released? Just quickly. 
The movie re released in uh, the movie is re released in June. A movie Guide Awards has it uh, on the Reels channel on March first. You can see her song. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Ted Bear. We appreciate you joining us.